How you doing? This is Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures. And the good people over at Expedition just gave me a DLX. Super excited about that. And um, a lot of my viewers are aware of that. And one asked me to do a video of me setting it up. Um, so I've had very limited time. Such a, So much going on lately. My workbench is an utter disaster right now. I apologize. I just haven't had a chance to clean it up and when I've been working on things lately I've had such little time I'm just kind of throwing things around not a good practice but anyway I just put the rest on this bow and um, just have a you know put the D loop on things like that <clears throat> as far as you know setting it up uh, you want to measure off of the riser in the literature that they give you, you know, they tell you where center shots at 7 8 15 16 is where our center shot's at so I like to measure in the back of the arrow and in the front of the arrow and I'm pretty close looks like I could be off a hair um, it looks like I might need to come out a little tiny bit moving it out measure again so anyway get it to center shot we want it centered and um, I don't have the this clamped in to the voice it's just kind of setting in there but when I was setting the D loop um, I like to use these levels you know just put I had a regular arrow on at that time you know I hold the level here against the string because if you clip it onto the serving there's never enough serving for it to fit and then if you clip it where part of it's on the serving and part of it is on the string below it this it's not the same diameter so it actually the bottom will come in that's going to throw off your level so I hold it against the string gently and I you know I just look at the bubble there just to get it as close as I can what I just did is after I centered my rest got the knock point on square shot through paper I had a low left tear I shot a bear shaft where is it right here so this is the arrow I've been shooting, hunting with for the last two years. Uh, it's a gold tip ultralight, 300 spine. Uh, shooting at 65 pounds, got it maxed out. Anyway, shot through paper, got a low right tear. So what I did for, for fixing that is I added a little twist to the yoke on the right side. And that brought my knock travel over and as far as having the low knock tear, so it's coming through like this, I added a little twist to the control cable, and I had to do that a couple times. I just was going one half turn at a time till I got it on. It took me about probably a total of about a turn and a half, two turns, something like that. And each time you make an adjustment to something like that, you have to reset the draw stop timing. So I had to put it on the draw board. You leave the bottom, I always leave the bottom draw stop in place and then slide the draw stop on the top cam. And uh, so I did that a couple times, got it, got it back on and now it's shooting pretty well. Another thing I'll mention when I'm setting up a bow, this is a, so right now I'm just putting on this bow, extra stuff I have laying around. I have this IQ sight, I'll uh, probably not leave it on there. I'm just putting it on there for right now. Uh, I had a ripcord. Which one's this? I don't know. I had a ripcord ace and it died, so they replaced it. So whatever that model equivalent is now, that's what's on here. Uh, I just set it up. Now, you typically want it attached right around the bottom of the handle. And I always use the little football-shaped thing that you screw onto the cable and the you know the string that goes to the rest itself until I'm done making all of my adjustments. Once everything is set and I have proper arrow flight coming out of the bow, then I'll tie it in and take the little football thing off. But I usually wait until I have everything where it needs to be to have good arrow flight coming out of the bow. So anyway, uh, making this video just out of answering to the request someone wanted to see me setting this bow up. I, uh, I'm not sure which quiver I'm going to shoot as of yet, but obviously you can put that on. Stabilizer, I have um, 
and a sidebar stabilizer B stinger that I'm going to put on here and that's just going to be right there so uh, but the main thing is just getting your your arrow flight set and that's that's what I just finished playing with. Uh, before I close out I'll say I am going to be doing another bow giveaway this year and it's going to start very soon the process for that and I'll make an announcement. Also um, a while back I was invited to start an affiliate uh, Amazon affiliate influencer page whatever so I signed up to do it and I never did anything with it so um, then they started to send me threatening emails that they're gonna take my custom URL away and all this stuff so if you want to help me out to keep the page I'll put a link for it in the description section maybe even if you just go on there and click around and there's they see activity then maybe they'll get off my back so uh, thank you for those of you who do that until next time take care and God bless